Boom, bigots. What if we do the just do the do the monthly update with Jill Biden's face up there for us? Because that's creepy and hilarious at the same time. Got a lot of feedback when I uh, took a couple days off and I didn't uh, tell anybody I was taking a couple days off. I people were saying you got a lot of snow because uh, we thought you got like arrested or something. And I was like, well, I was putting daily videos out, but then I forgot to acknowledge that there's some people who just watch the streams that watch the daily videos. And so I was like, I, I'll put a video out. You're right. I'll do, I'll, I'll do that next time. And it's pretty much it. Behind, nothing really, nothing else happened behind the scenes. We are, we're using a new uh, broadcasting software. You're probably noticing that the stream looks different. I can't get the stream up on the website as we're doing it, but that'll be fixed. But uh, yeah, Rumble's got a new software that we're using and so far so good. So you know, I'm paying two other places to get the stream out, and this will save me a bunch of money, by the way, not having to do that. But let's get some questions. What's going on? C Ranch? Salty, would you consider doing a gaming stream? Fellow gamer, I think it would be a lot of fun to watch you do something that you're passionate about while interacting with the Berserkers. We tried that a few times. Um, I, I tried playing like uh, Don't Starve and uh, Oblivion or Morrowind on D Live. And boy, people did not like it. So it's got to be like a completely, it's almost like, I, I told everybody we're just doing a game. I was like, this is just a gaming stream. Like, I just want to, you know, play a game and, and uh, you know, talk to you guys while I play the game. And people did not like it. They were screaming at me. So I was like, okay, well, this, it's, it's like, it's, it's a weird thing where um, you'd have to just keep doing it and just kind of get through that whole process. But I don't know, like, I don't really have time to like play video games. And if I did play video games, I would feel like I should be reading the news and, and doing that. So I don't know the games that I would play. Nobody's interested in, by the way, like, like I want to play, I don't know, fucking Castlevania on the super Nintendo. <laughs> like, be like what the fuck is this? We'll see if the, if the news cycle ever dies down, that will expand into uh, cars and video games. Afro Shane, uh, when are you hitting up the sands again? Remember, no troons on the dunes. Full sand. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to get out there. The uh, I love going out to Pismo, but it it, it takes like it, the, just the drive eats up. I don't know, like eight hours. <laughs> so, like it'd be eight hours of just driving, and so. I don't know. I gotta get get a um, like a like a jet ski or something. Just go into the ocean. That's a little bit quicker. So I don't know. I, we're gonna be real busy the next I don't know five months. Like the next five, we're not doing anything the next five months other than just reading news all day long. Because holy shit, crazy. Lost elf justice is slow. Politics moves fast. Even if Trump prevails in November. Do you think many of the frauds of twenty twenty election? will be better exposed, corrected, or prosecuted. Yeah. Um, they're trying to delete information. So they only have to keep the voting information for two years. And some of these, these voting ballots and stuff have been under court order protected, which is why they're still around almost four years later. But in Georgia right now, they're trying to delete the court ordered protected ballots from Fulton County. So they know these criminals, like they know. And so they're, they're still trying to burn evidence right now. And so if we can get those protected and we get Trump in and yeah, the process moves slowly, you, you bet your balls. They just arrested a dude in Maricopa County for stealing uh, a USB stick for the election uh, tabulator. And uh, I wonder if that's going to spread. Uh, Bibbit, will we ever get to meet the Salt Queen? No. The Salt Queen still has a, a day job. And uh, the, just the way things like, she doesn't even have to be. I mean, it's a fucking Mexican chick, but they would say that she's a white supremacist and get her fired. So, like, that's why when she used to do the daily updates or monthly, monthly updates, she would wear a, a helmet. Because <laughs> these fucking... These uh, people who who love strong, empowered brown women so much would still uh, try to ruin her life because they're fucking shithead criminals. Rasputin, what are your top three conspiracy theories of all time? I don't think the moon exists. <laughs> I don't know. the The moon, the moon's a weird fucking object in the sky. 
just the fact that it's the same exact, uh, it's the perfect size and distance from the, the, it just seems like everything's created. So someone's going, so you're a creationist? I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, that moon stuff looks fucking weird as hell. Uh, fucking, that lander looks weird. Then uh, the other one would be, I don't know. I think they, I think they are harvesting people's organs. <laughs> I think these lizard people are still in people's fucking splains. I don't know if that's my top three. We'll go with that. Thanks, Rasputin. Uh, shout out, how do you stay sane watching everything going on? Well, I'm an optimist. I think that helps quite a bit, being an optimist. Like, it, it, th these things aren't great, but I think we're going to overcome them. I don't think it's going to be easy, but it hasn't been easy up to this point. But I don't know. I just, in my, I just, oh, I don't know. I just believe that good always overcomes. Might take, makes, take some time, though, Shadow. Uh, will you ever consider doing 30, 40 minute segment with uh, Sergeant Report on Rumble? That's uh, Mr. C, Windy City C. Yeah, you know, I, I, it's weird. Like people, it's hard to convey to people who don't have, I don't know, maybe social anxiety. But um, like doing other people's shows is like, I don't think I'm good at it. And so, you know, that's why we do so few of them. And the ones that I do, like I do side scrollers and uh, now I've done Dr. Drew uh, a bunch of times. It's it, like, it, it takes me a long time to warm up to people. And, and so it's hard for me to, to, uh, you know, talk to other people. That's why the, that's why for all these years, I, I'm just yelling into the camera to me. It's just, I'm talking to a camera. Um, but if I'm, got to converse with somebody then my brain goes to weird places like i overanalyze their facial express uh, expressions and the, the cadence of their voice and their body language and i'm like I'm, I'm, is, this, is this going in the right direction and i'm trying to listen to what they're saying and comprehend what they're saying but then also point out how to you know pieces to to respond to it's 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 for a person who's got add <laughs> and social anxiety issues talking to other people is uh, it, it wipes me out. And so um, I'm sure those are great people. But between now, for the next five months, uh, I, I'm not meeting anybody. No, like I'm not going to do somebody's show who like I've never met before and, and go through this whole process of, of, of that. If I, yeah, if the next five months, we fucking lock down. We got we to gotta cover this, uh, this news cycle. But after that, if the world still exists, who knows? Thanks, brothers. Uh, West Texas, uh, Red Dirt, his opinion on false flag popping off before election. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're, you're going to definitely see some fucking chaos before, before the election. And I don't even necessarily know if it'll be like a false flag. I think those Hamas weirdos, uh, these lefty fucking weirdos pretending to be Hamas freedom fighters, I think they're going to fucking start setting shit on fire. Right now, they're storming uh, in a, a building where they're holding a Joe Biden event. I mean, I'm, I'm over for fucking firecrackers tonight. A bunch of fucking lunatics storming into a building that Secret, Ser Secret Service needs to protect. Ah, let's see. But yeah, I fully expect fucking shit to go off kinetically before the election. Yeah. Remember, I think Christmas Day, a fucking AT&T information building got got nuked it got uh it got hit with a bunker buster and everybody just uh that was actually an rv exploding my ass was an rv exploding a bunker buster at that we all just ignoring that uh buck do i think they'll take out blump uh, you know if you if you take him out you still have the problem that you've just made him a martyr and he's got kids like donald trump jr uh, i i think taking somebody out is in this day and age can be effectively done without even killing them in a weird way. Like if you can, if you can, I mean, they've silenced him off of most of these platforms. He won't return to X for some reason. Um, if you can stop people from hearing you, you don't even need to, I mean, that's why they had to blow Kennedy's head apart. They, I mean, you, back then, you know, the guy could just walk out and go talk and people would cover him. Cause you had legitimate people working in the news agencies and some of them, not, not all of them, obviously, but now, I mean, look what they're trying to do with Alex Jones. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I, I, you know, if, if they go full fuck it, yeah, then anything's possible. Yeah. America, but that's going to mess their plans up, though, by the way. These people don't want their plans messed up. You, if that shit, if shit goes real fucking sideways here, all these rich people's lives of, of comfort 
kind of goes out the window with the rest of our lives of comfort. So I don't think they're really interested in doing that. Any speculation on the average Dems response to Biden being replaced pre-election? Anything, anything or just continue to vote blue no matter who? Uh, American Rebel, thanks, bro. Uh, they'll vote blue no matter who. If you're a vote blue no matter who person, whether it's Biden, Clinton, or uh, Newsom, you're, 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 yeah, you'll, they'll vote blue no matter who. I, I don't think they're replacing them. They they can't at this point. Uh, they the DNC can replace him as a nominee, but you can't replace him as a nominee and then reach all the ballots. If you replace Joe Biden, uh. Right now, if you replace Joe Biden, he won't be on Wisconsin's ballot. He's missed the deadline. The new person would miss the deadline for that. I think tomorrow would be Nevada, and then in a few weeks, it would be Georgia. I mean, Wisconsin, Georgia, Nevada, you, you're not going to be on those ballots? They they can't – nah. <laughs> they, they, they can't afford that, so they stuck with Joe Biden. Hey, salty kits home. What's going on? Uh, when you're going to pronounce Italia correctly – Italian makes me crazy. Well, I don't respect the Italians. That's why. I actually got massive respect. You guys, this food's so goddamn good. Uh, I love messing up words. I don't know why. I, I like to mess up words. So when I accidentally mess up words, you can't tell whether I'm doing it on purpose or if I'm just a fucking idiot. So it's, it's a little bit of protective cover, right? Kits, it's a little bit of protective cover, right? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but there you go, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what month is this? I don't know what month it is, but that's the monthly update. Thank you so much for uh, continuing to support this ridiculous channel, and I'll see you next month. Take care.